The first lord in a horoscope could be placed in any of the 12 houses. The interpretation is a basic guide as described in the Brahat Parashara Horashastra BPHs. A more nuanced interpretation can be made based on the planet that is the first lord, its interaction with the lord of the house that it is placed in, the other planets that it is placed with, the aspects that it is receiving, the nakshatra it is placed in, relationship with the nakshatra lord and where the lord of the nakshatra is placed. Welcome to Jyotishi.com. In this video, we'll talk about the placement of Lagna Lord or the first Lord in different houses of the Zodiac. When the first Lord is in the first house, it implies the strengthening of the first house. The first house is the house of the person himself or herself. This means that the person will be physically strong and will have physical comforts. The first house also indicates the person's tendencies and disposition. So this placement makes the person thoughtful and intelligent. The first lord in the second house means that the person will focus on the significations of the second house like wealth, money, family, speech, etc. It is also one of the houses of primary education. So the person will be learned, happy and rather money-minded. Since the second house is also connected with the sight of the person, this person could have powers of observation and even great foresight. The placement of first lord in the third house makes the person very courageous and valorous. The third house is the house of Parakrama and is associated with courage, strength, valor, communications and siblings. This placement makes the person's health and vitality very strong. The person will also be blessed with wealth and happiness. When the Lord of the first house is in the fourth house, there will be happiness from mother and father. The person will be rather charming and intelligent while also being sensual. Since this placement links the physical self to the mind, that is the first house to the fourth house, there will be much thought and attention paid to the body and matters of the body. The fourth house is the Maitri Bhava. It denotes the mother and mental peace and happiness of the person. The Lagna Lord in the fifth house will give the person happiness from children. The book also states that the person will be favorite to the king. This can be interpreted as the person being favorite of the government or their boss or something similar. When the Lagna Lord is in the sixth house is the Shatru Bhava, the person could have health issues or could face troubles from enemies. This is because the sixth house is the house of diseases and enemies. When the first lord is in the Kalatra Bhava, that is the house of marriage and partnerships, that is the seventh house of the chart, the person could be partner focused. It could also lead to some issues related to health regarding the spouse. If it is a benefit, it could have other prapti and updation of status. The eighth house or the Randra Bhava signifies longevity, sudden events, loss, misfortune, disgrace, death, etc. So when the first lord is in the eighth house, it could also mean some significations related to these, like the person could be interested in occult sciences or astrology. A weak 8th house, first lord in the 8th house may also affect the longevity of the person or there could be sudden changes in the person's life or illness which is difficult to discover. The ninth house is the house of dharma and of fortune. A person with first lord in the ninth house will be very religious and will be blessed with wealth, children and bhagya. When the first lord is in the tenth house or karmasthana, the person will gain fame and wealth and that is earned through one's own hard work. The person will also get the favor of the government and happiness through father. The eleventh house is called the Labha Bhava or the house of gains. When the first lord goes to the house of gains, the person will clearly have many gains, fame and honor. The person could also have a very strong network of friends and depending on the strength and debilitation of the planet, the circle of friends could be beneficial or non-beneficial. The twelfth house is called the Vyaya Bhava or the house of laws. The first lord in the twelfth house could indicate that the person could be spiritually inclined, will also be prone to extreme anger or could lose health or bodily pleasures. It could also mean that the person could have a lot of expenses. Hope you all like this video on the first lord in the twelve houses of the zodiac in a horoscope or Vedic chart. Thank you for watching the Jyotishi.com channel and stay tuned for more videos on Vedic astrology, spirituality, Sanatana Dharma and mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya.